In other news now, we're going to take a closer look tonight at the growing illegal drug problem in our area. Take, for example, the Seward County Sheriff's Office. They say the drugs they've confiscated has more than tripled in the last few years. Channel 8's Alexis Koneski has been looking into this and has the story for us tonight. Alexa? Yeah, that's right, Ron Megan. We're talking about everything from heroin, cocaine, meth, and fentanyl. It's an amount many Seward County deputies have never seen quite like this. We hear about it almost weekly, a big drug bust on the interstate, but the Seward County Sheriff's Office says the amount of illegal drugs coming through just keeps growing. I stopped the car and seized 27 pounds of heroin uh, a few years, two or three years back. That was the most heroin I've ever seen in one place in my life in the whole 35 year career. But now 100 pounds of heroin is pretty common. Sheriff Vance says the drugs they have confiscated has more than tripled in the last two years. Anything from heroin, cocaine, meth, and fentanyl. As I worked criminal addiction for 12 years and never seen nowhere near as much as I've seen the last two years. And you could probably take any of those five or six years together and not put all of it together and make up what we've got in the last two years. You know, which is, it's scary when you have that much coming through. In fact, it's gotten so bad that Seward County has actually had to move some of their seized drugs to other agencies because they've run out of space in their own evidence room. We don't plan an evidence building to hold that much drugs. You know, we didn't, we never expected that much drugs to come through our county or come into our county. A recent traffic stop led authorities to 900 pounds of fentanyl, one of the most deadly drugs and one of the most concerning for Sheriff Vance. Each deputy with Seward County now has two doses of Narcan on them at all time to protect themselves and others. Narcan's expensive, you know, but, you know, it's something that we need. And it's not just stops on I-80, leaving to a record amount of drugs. Seward is seeing local drugs pick up around the county, which is why they created a drug task force three months ago to work local drugs only. He believes it will help the so-called war on drugs, but he knows this won't solve the problem 100%. I know when we stop a load with 200 pounds of cocaine in it or 125 pounds of fentanyl, I sit back and think, you know, this, this is probably going to save at least one person's life. Now, Sheriff Pham says there's no answer to what's exactly causing the increase, but he believes the pandemic has a lot to do with it. All right, Alexa, thank you for the report tonight.